Hello, I'm Kara Swamy, Senior Art and Merchandising Specialist at Everything But The House. It is my pleasure to bring to your attention two paintings by the Hudson River School artist Sanford Robertson Gifford. Both paintings will be offered in our upcoming landmark sale in December. They have been examined and authenticated by Dr. Isla Weiss, a reputable Sanford Gifford scholar who has authored several books about the artist. Sanford Gifford was based in the Hudson River Valley and is one of the leading members of the Hudson River School. These artists focused on the American landscape as their main subject matter. So the Hudson River School artists focused on what they viewed as the untouched virgin land as the treasures of their country. And in doing so, they were instrumental in championing the idea of the manifest destiny in the young United States. In Hudson River School paintings, you will often see two types of landscapes. There's the sublime landscape and the luminous landscape. The luminous landscape, which is what we have here in Gifford's paintings, tend to focus on other aspects such as the subtle infusion of light or much more subtle tonal gradations in the sky, a more tranquil landscape, and often an emphasis placed on the horizontal expanse of the piece. Notice how there's this diffuse glow throughout the mountains and sky of Gifford's paintings that's used to skillfully illustrate the distance and a sense of atmospheric fog. The larger work pictures Lake Sunapee, located in New Hampshire, which was a subject the artist painted repeatedly. The smaller painting may depict Caterskill Lake, located in New York's Catskill Mountains, which was another area repeatedly visited by the artist. Both paintings are signed by the artist in the lower corners, and each is dated 1860, indicating they were painted by Gifford when he was becoming a more mature artist and gaining greater popularity. Interestingly, this is also one year before the artist enlisted in the Army for the American Civil War, which is when his paintings started exhibiting more dramatic and infernal qualities. Both paintings were consigned to EBTH from the great-great-granddaughter of an affluent gentleman named Samuel Hallett. Hallett was specifically known for his development of the American Railroad System, specifically the Union Pacific Railroad. In 1854, Hallett built a mansion for his family called the Hallett House, or the Isle of Pines. The house unfortunately burned down, but the two paintings were salvaged from the fire. Everything But the House is thrilled to offer not one, but two paintings by Sanford Gifford. The pursuit to have these paintings authenticated by Dr. Isla Weiss has been an honor and pleasure. The landmark sale begins November 29th and will end the evening of December 8th. Don't miss the opportunity to view these paintings in person at our landmark preview on December 7th from 12 to 4 p.m.